Hey guys, welcome back. I have a Light Brights collection from China Glaze that I'm reviewing today and I'm pretty happy with the collection. Um, I think there's a pretty good variety and I think everyone will find something they like. Um, although some of these weren't my favorites, I was surprised that I actually found that there were several that were my favorites. So um, There's a variety of neons and brights and there's some textured polishes. There's also one that's kind of a jelly formula. So there's kind of a good mix of different polishes. And there's 12 in the entire collection. So let's go ahead and talk about each one individually. The first one is None of Your Whiskey Business. And this is an orange cream. It's a bright orange cream. And I don't know that I'd wear this on my fingers, but I'd wear it on my toes. And let's get into the live swatch so you guys can see how the formula is. Here's the first coat of None of Your Risky Business, and it's kind of an interesting formula. It's kind of squishy and doesn't go anywhere. It's really light, so you almost have to push down a little bit to avoid getting bubbles. But this is going to take two coats to be opaque, and I did have a few bubbles. But that's two coats of None of Your Risky Business. This next one is Whip It Good, and it's a bright green toned yellow and it's so vibrant and fun for summer. I'll definitely be wearing this mixed with some other polishes. I liked it quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of Essie Chilato, but it's quite a bit brighter. But I was surprised that I really liked that one because I really don't love the out there bold colors. But there's just something about it that looks so great on the nail. So you'll have to give it a try if you haven't tried this, this type of color. And this is Whip It Good, and let's get into the swatch for that one. And here's the first coat of Whip It Good. It's the same formula as the last polish. Um, you kind of have to really lead it to where you want it to go because it's so light and fluffy. And then just make sure you press down with this formula. But it's only two coats to be opaque and that's two coats of Whip It Good. Then we have Lime After Lime. And this is exactly what it says, a bright lime green. And I actually kind of like this green color. I love green, so I like any green polish. And I'll probably wear this on my toes. I don't know if I'll be brave enough to wear it on my fingers, but I'll see. Anyway, let's get into the swatch with this one. And here's the first coat of Lime After Lime. Again, it's the same consistency as those others, almost a little lighter and fluffier, but you just need to get used to it. And I'm getting a little better as I go along. And that's two coats to be opaque, and that's two coats of Lime After Lime. Then we have Lip Smack and Good, and this is a cream bright pink, but it also has some kind of very fine iridescent shimmer in there that looks like it's pink and maybe even slightly purple, but it's kind of, it doesn't show up that great on the nail. Um, it just gives it kind of a shiny look. And the formula on these are all kind of interesting, these three light ones that I've talked about. It's really foamy or something, or light and soft. I don't have a lot of neons, and so I don't really have a ton to compare them to. And you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think about these, and if they're all typically like that. But I kind of had to learn how to use the formula so that it wouldn't get bubbly. But Anyway, you'll see that as I talk about the swatches, but let's go ahead and get into the swatch for this one. And here's the first coat of Lip Smack and Good. You almost have to do the same with this one, press it down a little bit, and you just want to make sure that these polishes are pretty level when you put them on, or they kind of pool in areas unless you get it really smoothed out. But it's it could be opaque, I think, in two coats, but I ended up doing three because I did the layers a little bit thinner, but I think you could get away with two. And that's three coats of Lip Smack and Good. And then I have Let's Jam, and this is a light, bright purple with some blue or some blue-toned purple iridescent shimmer in there. And this one's pretty. I like this one quite a bit. Let's get into the swatch for this. Here's the first coat of Let's Jam, and this does have that shimmer in it. As, and you can see it a little bit. It's not totally noticeable unless you look really close, but it gives us gives it a nice sheen. And these do dry matte, and we're gonna do a second coat, and that's two coats of Let's Jam. And then we have Bite Me, it's the same almost as that purple one, 
It's a bright pink with the orange iridescent shimmer in there. Very, very fine shimmer. And this one's actually really pretty on the nails. I'll probably wear this one on my toes as well. And let's get into the swatch for Bite Me. And here's the first coat of Bite Me. This one also has shimmer and the formula is a little easier to work with than those other creams that I had done before. And here's two coats and it has pretty good coverage. I'm only gonna need two coats for this to be opaque. And that's two coats of Bite Me. Then we have what I like about blue, and this is a very light sky blue, almost a teal, but it's got very slight silver shimmer in there, and it's kind of iridescent. And I like this one quite a bit as well. I think it's really pretty on the fingers, and I'll certainly be wearing this one this summer. And this is called What I Like About Blue, and let's get into the swatch for this one. And here's the first coat of What I Like About Blue. And this also has shimmer. This shimmer shows up a little more than those others. And the formula is a slightly runny. I have it run down the wand a few times, but that's okay. You just need to get used to it. It's a little runnier than the other formulas that I've been working with. These polishes so far have had a matte or semi-matte finish, and that's pretty typical with any neon polishes. But that's two coats of what I like about blue. Okay, the next one is I Got a Blue Attitude, and this is definitely one of my favorites. I'll be wearing this for sure all summer. Well, not all summer. <laughs> I wear too much nail polish, but I'll try to wear it a lot. And it's just a straight up cream, but the formula is really great. And let's get into the swatch for this one. And here's the first coat of I Got a Blue Attitude, and it's saying it's blue, but it definitely leans more purple. It's a blue toned purple. And I've noticed that I am getting a few more bubbles with this formula as well, but you just need to push down a little bit. But it's fully opaque in two coats, and I love this color. That's two coats of what I like about blue. The next one is Papa Don't Preach, and this is a texture polish. And it's got that um, kind of scratchy texture finish. But it's really pretty. I liked it. I don't know how often I'll be wearing this. This probably wasn't one of my favorites, but there's a lot of you out there that I think will like this and it's it's a bright orange with some orange and kind of white silver shimmer in there and i think with a top coat this glitter and shimmer will show up more but since it's a texture polish it doesn't show up quite a bit but the good thing about these texture polishes is that they'll last long and they'll stay on the nail pretty well during the summer when you're in the water a lot so these are good for summertime let's get into the swatch and here's the first coat of papa don't peach and it looks like it's got a jelly base. I thought it'd have more coverage, but it actually covers quite a bit on the second coat. If you want it to be a little bit of a deeper color, I would do another coat on top of that. And it is a texture polish, and that's two coats. And then this is the other texture polish. This is We Got the Beat, and it's a bright purple with, let's see, some orange and silver glitter in there. Just like the other one, it dries with that textured look. And that's We Got the Beat. Let's get into the swatch for this one. And here's the first coat of We Got the Beat. And this one, like the other texture polish, doesn't have as much coverage as I thought. But it builds up pretty good when you get to the second coat. And once again, if you want a deeper color, then I do another. But it, it covers pretty well in two. And it dries as a textured polish. And that's two coats. The next one is all pink to that, and it's a gorgeous, fuchsia, bright, hot pink color. And I'll definitely be wearing this on my fingers. I love hot pink just once in a while in the summer when I'm on vacation. Um, and the formula is fantastic, and let's get into the swatch for this one. And here's the first coat of all pink to that, and it is a more vibrant color than it's showing up here. It's hard to record these neon colors. And that's one coat, it has pretty good coverage, but I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. And I really like this color, it's gorgeous, it'll be perfect for summer. And that's two coats. And then this one's Hot Flash. I love this, this ended up being one of my favorites for sure. It, when I first put it on, it's got a jelly formula, but then it surprised me because it covered pretty well in two coats. And you'll see as we get into the swatch. But it's such a gorgeous, bright red with just a touch of pink in it. And I think those are more flattering on me than the orange toned ones. 
and this ended up being one of my favorites. And let's get into the swatch for that one. Here's the first coat of Hot Flash. I was surprised to discover that it was a jelly polish, but I like the formula. I was hoping it'd have good coverage, and by the second coat, it covers actually pretty well. I couldn't see my nail line, so I was pretty happy about that because I love these kind of formulas. They're just so shiny and squishy. And that's two coats of Hot Flash. Okay, so that's all 12. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. I'd like to know who's really liking my review videos and who maybe isn't. So make sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. And I'm not going to be doing any comparisons for these just because I, don't, I only have a few uh, neon polishes in my collection. I don't feel like I have enough to really do any, any good comparisons. So just so you're aware of that. And then, okay, I think my favorites are... Uh, with the good hot flash I'll pink to that and I got a blue attitude I think I think these four are my favorites for sure so I'll definitely be wearing these and you'll probably see some of these show up in my summer favorites which will be coming soon as well so stay tuned for that all right we'll talk to you guys later see ya